Okay, Aquarius, you all are the last one for today. Show me what is wanted and needed of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. What is wanted and needed of Aquarius? Okay, you had a will of fortune and a three of swords. Somebody feels that they can calm your energy. They know exactly what you need, like that, the type of care. They feel that they know exactly what, because this is somebody looking they feel that they and then this is two birds and this could be romantic or non-romantic just apply it they feel that they know exactly what you need they know exactly what calms your energy how to calm your energy they feel that they work well with your energy is what they're feeling so it would be and this is like and you had a will of fortune they feel that they know exactly what it takes to get you to moving forward or to get your energy working in a specific way they feel that your energy could be complementing the dares it works in unison with this will of fortune and this three of swords this is about destiny and fate i don't know what is about destiny and fate but this is about destiny and fate okay now show me we're going to clarify this three of swords and i don't know who they are but it's a person it could be a, another air sign or it could be a sagittarius sun moon rising or a gemini libra aquarius sun moon rising let's see Star, yeah, it could be another Aquarius. That's one of you all's cards. This is a star about healing, wishes, the will of fortune also. This person can be very gentle with your energy, um, Aquarius. This could be an Aquarius man. It could be very gentle with your energy. Somebody with rising in Aquarius, moon in Aquarius, something like that. They know how to put your mind at ease. And it's not through conversations, just the energetic connection that you two could share, whoever this person is. It's the energetic connection, three of swords. But both of you function the same way. You have this three of swords here twice. And they are... You two are soothing to one another. And, I, and, and you allow one another to just be. Of course, there's a distant sign. We had a four cups and a ten of swords. Somebody may... Something could be offered to someone. They're rejecting it. There's a rejection with this ten of swords. Somebody may have moved on from someone or something. And there could already be someone else in the picture. It's like the four of cups is is someone that is okay. So, okay, this is this is here. Some of you could be okay. Yeah, air here. And then you had the four of cups. The four of cups could be rejecting. Usually they could be. This could be about you and somebody, and there's an apology that's being rejected. Okay, you know. Somebody needs to heal past something. And then somebody's apologizing. This was is pouting or being stubborn and not ready to accept it. Okay. Now, that's going to be over. So, of you, it would be where... Could this... Could this person is straight out, out for an apology. So, it would be... So, the four cups, five cups, six cups, all that. Now... The others of you, somebody was offered something. Love is the Ace of Cups. And they're focused on, they've already had three cups that they feel are equal to this cup. That this is one cup, I already have three. That is this. Okay. Whoever was being offered to, they could be wondering if somebody is betraying them or if they're being betrayed or if they're losing the three cups that are up. 
So they're not interested in this. They're interested in what is still standing. They've been hurt. And now the cups that are still standing, that they're interested in, that person could be, have been hurt. That they want. Okay. And then they have a new person. This one will offer them something that they don't want. Because they've been waiting for this wheel to turn in their favor regarding the three cups that are standing. They will only interact with this cup so much, only interacting to a point, but not wanting the cup itself because they feel that they have three that outweighs this or what this is offered. One cup from whomever this is, is three. It varies a lot. Now, and they've been trying to avoid or they've been trying to get through a betrayal. From the three cups could have betrayed them or they were looking at a betrayal or feeling like that. So is so they weren't really really emotionally invested in anything else. They're already emotionally invested in three cups. Now Is what I'm getting with this here, Aquarius. It's like somebody being stubborn and adamant about these, these three cups are what I want. I don't know what the three cups are, are, and I don't want that. I want these three, or I want this. That three could be one cup, but it's, if you fill it up, is is more like that, or it's more fulfilling for them. They went through an ending that they never let go of or never accepted or didn't want. The Ten of Swords is like betrayal, betrayal or let down an ending that you don't see coming because it's behind you. And they never got over it. They still want what they want like that. They It could be somebody with a crest in a chart. It could be they still want what they want. They still want the three cups. Their love for the three cups didn't leave. The three cups left them. It's like, and they don't want this offer, whatever it is. They focus on, their one dimension focus on what they had and lost. Okay. And their wish has been to get it back. So they could have been sabotaging energetically new beginnings for the person that um, they lost. Because they would have wanted a new beginning. And then you have temptation that was at the bottom. I was going to keep shuffling. So they've been able to resist any type of temptation coming towards them. They look at these cups as temptation because it's not really what they want. And they don't look at it as, even though this is a card of missed opportunity, they don't look at it as a missed opportunity. They look at it as, I want what I used to have that they lost or was stabbed in the back or feel betrayed because they lost or felt, didn't see some type of ending coming. Like that, and their wish is to get those three cups back. And they've gone through heartbreak, three of swords, and maybe the person that the three cups belong to went through heartbreak also. So both of them are healing. <laughs> and that's why they know exactly what the what they know what somebody needs like that. Okay. They feel that their energies work good. Okay. Somebody could want to get somebody to see that they're the person like that. Okay. And that they're in sync with them like that. Okay. The, the person sitting on the tree wants the three cups person to know that they're their person. And they, want, they, they can feel that their person, this person here feels that their person with the three cups was tempted and followed temptation. Or allows themselves to be follow temptation, and that's why they got hurt. They feel that they've been resisting temptation, interacting with the temptation, but to a certain point, like that, and not expect, not accepting the cup, the emotionality, the emotional connection, because they feel that they've already, they already have this cup is one. They had something that was equal three of these, like that. Okay, but they can feel that the other person falls into temptation. <laughs> Like that, so now both of them hurt with the three of oh, the One is hurt by the three cups person that that, that three of so they hurt them. Now the other one that falls into temptation is hurt, and now the will of fortune, destiny, fate, and time 
the healing with the star and now both of them like are one had to go through healing the other one is knowing what the other one needs and feels that they are hoping the other one sees that they are the person for them like that okay and that they work with their energy well okay that's what you have here Aquarius some type of enigma And you have the Ten of Cups, the ultimate happiness and fulfillment. Okay, so is in the Wheel of Fortune or your major arcana in the devil with the temptation? The new is the temptation of the devil energy. Somebody can feel that they know who their divine partner is and they've always known and they never steered from it. And somebody could be, they, they feel, the person sitting under the tree feels that their person is trying, to, that somebody's trying to tempt their person away from them. And they know that because they feel that somebody else is trying to tempt them. So they kind of feel in sync with, well, this is what's happening to my person. That's how it works with divine counterparts. But they feel that, that you are follow, following it in temptation more so than them. That they could resist it. That they're more, I don't know. I guess they feel that they know the value of the three cups more than you do. And that you're following into the temptation. That they know that somebody's trying to tempt you. And that whoever's trying to tempt you, they don't want anything from you that is significant. That's what you have here, Aquarius. We're going to continue later the rest of your spread. The link is in the description box below this video per usual. Bye.